things to do when you are afflicted or when you are in need of divine institution. Number one, seek God early. Don't wait until affliction has reached the, the, the zenith or the apogee that you cannot even know how to seek the Lord anymore. When the affliction starts, that when that is the time, the official time to seek the Lord. Hosea chapter 5 and verse 15. So Hosea 5 15. Hosea 5 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. And in their affliction, they will seek me what? Early. They will seek me early. In their affliction, they will seek me early. In their affliction, in their affliction, they will seek me early. Hosea 5 15. When you are afflicted, seek him early. There is what to do. Seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Only you know where it's fitting you. You are wearing shoes. Only you know where the shoe is fitting you. Abi? Yes. Only you know your affliction. Don't wait until affliction is all over you. Start seeking the Lord early. Start seeking the Lord. Start seeking the Lord early over the affliction. Hallelujah. Amen. Number two. Engage the mercy tool. The tool of mercy. How do you do it? The Bible tells us in the book of Luke chapter 1, verse 78. Luke 1, 78. He said, Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high had visited us. God visits on the platform of mercy. Blind Bartimaeus cried out, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Was he disappointed? No. He was not disappointed. He cried out for mercy. The cry of mercy will always draw the attention of the God of mercy. Are you aware that God is the God of mercy? Yes. He's the merciful God. It takes the merciful to show mercy. Yes, the devil can never show you mercy because the devil is never mercy. The wicked will never show you mercy because he's not merciful. Full of the henchmen, they are not merciful. Arm robbers, they are not merciful. Kidnappers are not merciful. They are agents of the devil. The more you cry for mercy, the more they hurt you. Because they are sadists. They treasure your pain. Instead of relieving you of pain, they, 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 they put more pain. They do more harm. Because they are wicked. God is not a wicked God. Our God is not a taskmaster. It's not wicked. Like the taskmasters in Egypt that were oppressing the children of God for years. The children of Israel were complaining, this work is too much for us. This work is too much for us. The taskmaster more work. That's wickedness of the highest point. Engage the mercy too. Because God is a merciful God. When you cry out and say, oh God, have mercy on me. Oh Lord, have mercy on me over this issue, over this matter, over this issue, over matter. Only you can step in. Step in, oh God, on the basis of your mercy. 
and the Lord will show mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Number three, engage the prayer power. Engage the prayer power. Cry unto the Lord in prayers. Deuteronomy 26 and verse 7. Deuteronomy. When we cried unto the Lord God of our fathers, the Lord heard our voice. When the Lord heard the voice of the afflicted, he looked upon the affliction and he sent someone to deliver them. I pray that as you cry to the Lord in prayers for his attention, for his involvement, for his intervention, the Lord will send a deliverer. Amen. He will send someone Amen. or will sell a company of deliverers Amen. and they will step in Amen. to deliver you from every quagmire that you have found yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Second Chronicles 29. Second Chronicles 20 verse 9. If when evil comment on us as the sword, judgment or pestilence or famine, we stand before this house and in thy presence, for thy name is in this house, and cry unto thee in our affliction, then without hear and help. Hallelujah. Yes. When we cry unto thee in our affliction, in our pain, in our suffering, when we cry unto thee, then you will hear and help. God will always help anyone that cries unto him. I don't have an alternative to God. Do you have an alternative to God? Yes, mm -hmm. Then you have to cry out to Him. As you cry out to Him, He will hear you in the name of Jesus. Yes. Second Chronicles 33, Second Chronicles 33 and verse 12. And when He was in affliction, He besought the Lord His God and humbled Himself greatly before the God of His fathers. When He was in affliction, why is it that people who are in affliction, they run away from God? Is that not a ploy of the devil to keep them in that affliction? The devil can never free you from affliction. The devil can never deliver you from poverty because he wants you to be in perpetual poverty so that he will destroy you. The devil does not want you to gain freedom. From any bondage, he wants you to be dead. I have never heard that the devil delivered somebody from problem. I've never heard. Not once. Is it you compound the problem? You compound the problem. If not, all these people that are busy patronizing, you know, diabolical uh, stuff. And they should have been free. They should have been free, but they are not free. I decree over your life right now that as you cry unto the Lord, the Lord will help you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jonah 2 2. Jonah, the book of Jonah. How many of you remember Prophet Jonah? Oh, Prophet Jonah was afflicted. Let's see what he did. Jonah 2 2. And said, I cried by reason of my affliction unto the Lord. And he heard me. The Lord is going to hear someone. Reason by reason of my affliction unto the Lord, unto the Lord, and he heard me out of the belly of hell cried out, and thou heardest my voice. Hmm. If God could hear the voice of Jonah in the belly of the fish, God will hear you. Yeah, yeah. You are not even in the belly of the fish. You are in your house. 